Hello and welcome back. This is the Clay Golem and this is just a relatively short update video on the state of our Curse of Strahd adventure package that I've been putting together with help from others, uh, including some of the channel members and etc, uh, etc. Et uh, just, yeah, a bit of an update. So um, I've had some help, some desperately needed help to sort out my packaging release um, process. So the really good news is is that we now have full proper package release versions. I've just updated today uh, to version 0 0.2 uh, and we have now got a manifest link. So we can copy this link. I will put it in the description. We can come in and we can can't load packages. That's nothing to do with me. That's uh, Foundry's having a little bit of issue with finding packages sometimes. But I can drop that manifest link into that manifest URL and click install. And you can see in the background over here, it is now downloading the Curse of Strad package. No more dropping in a zip folder, unzipping it and putting it in the right place. Uh, this also means that if you are not self-hosting um, this suddenly makes this a lot easier for you to be able to install as well so that's going to chug away in the background uh, just while it does that um, what is in this new version of the release well of course it includes the landing page and introduction we've done before it includes the death house it includes the village of Barovia which is all finished and it now includes Arc C into the valley so that's the visit to the Sir Paul um, for those of you who've watched some of the building videos, it's got the uh, the crossroads with the, the hung, hang, hung ghost and things like that. Um, that's all in there, all part of this package. Now, of course, there may be the odd issue, the odd error. Um, it's likely to be missing images. Please do report them to me. You can either come in here and you can report it as an issue on actually on GitHub or just drop it in the comments. It's probably easier to drop it in the comments. Either way, it doesn't matter. Um, if you let me know, then I can fix it in the next release uh, and just sort those things out so they work perfectly. Now, the good news for you guys, if you already have installed my version of Curse of Strahd, this is going to make it a lot easier for you um, because when I do an update, all it's going to do is add to what you've already got. So it's not going to take anything away. So you're always going to be safe with this kind of mod to be able to update to the latest version and once you've got the github version rather than the downloaded zip version you will just be able to hit your lovely little update button um, in foundry this little right next to these mods this little whirly thing here i'm sure you're aware um, and it will automatically just like it does with all of the you know the professional mods if you like uh, it will download and install the latest version. So you can see in the background here at the moment, I don't have Curse of Strahd installed at all as a mod. So this is my alternative uh, install of Foundry that I've been doing some playing with the uh, 2024 rulebook under the 4.0 D&D game engine. Um, no Curse of Strahd installed on there at the moment, but you saw me chuck that manifest link in. It's doing that install. <laughs> Got to keep talking. It's nearly done, nearly done. Boom, there we go. So it's now done that, and we now have Curse of Strahd 0 0.2. Uh, I'm not going to do it because it will probably try to download the whole thing again. But yeah, just clicking that whirly thing. When there's an update, you'll just be able to click that. If you downloaded the zip version, you'll have this looking here. You're probably on 0 0.1.4. Um, if you click the spinny thing, it will most likely complain about a missing manifest because I wasn't packaging stuff properly at that point because I didn't know how. So you will need to just go to install module, the new manifest link in the description, smack that in. It will overwrite the version that you've got with the correct version that then will auto update for you and it will bring you up to 0 0.2. Right, stop waffling. If I go into my... Curse of Strahd uh, practice one here. All I need to do, of course, is make sure I have got that mod activated. So turn that on and it's going to make sure that we've got all of these things as well. So if I turn it off, I turn it back on again. 
item piles, socket lib, lib wrapper, monks active tiles, and tagger. That is what we need to make sure this works. Let's save those settings. I don't need to because it already was on. There we go, just for your information. And if anybody's watching this who hasn't seen us doing this before, you now get your compendium, um, the Clay Golem's Curse of Strahd compendium, one compendium, and inside that you've got all of the separate uh, arcs and chapters. So they're broken down. So the reason why we're doing it like this is because it means you don't need to install the entire package into your one foundry setting in one go. Um, it also means you can get started right now, even though I haven't finished building the whole entire adventure series, uh, but you can um, just install the bits you need. So if you're just starting off, you might want to add the landing and intro bits plus the death house but don't worry about welcome to barovia you might have a few weeks before you get to there add that when you need it when they finish with the death house you can delete those scenes because of the way i've put them in folders you'll see that in a second um, and you can keep what's active in foundry relatively low in case you have any resourcing issues now one thing i should point out is uh, i did have that lonely bugbear um absolute gentleman um spend a fair bit of time helping me with packaging this and getting this working to make it much easier to distribute updates and stuff to you so um, yeah many many thanks to uh, to bugs for doing that uh, obviously I've put some credits in here Aeon Bar's um, maps and we're mostly using we've uh, we're using the cast Curse of Strahd Reloaded by Dragna Carta and um, a couple of the maps I've stolen from no not stolen with permission I did steal, and then he gave me permission, very generously. Uh, Spirit and Steel, a couple of those maps, and Drazimo has already been uh, uh, seconded to do some maps and bits as well, just to fill out what we've got. So any of these, it's going to tell you what it's going to import, number of scenes and things. We just click on Import Adventure, and away we go. I'm just going to bring in these latest two so that we can have a quick look. I think we did Welcome to Barovia in the last one, but you won't have any of the Into the Valley. So this is all new. This is 20 new actors, five items, 14 scenes. It's quite a big one. There's a lot of traveling around, um, playlists, etc. So just get that to come in. Whee! And there we go. So it's brought us straight into one of our scenes. So if we go to our scenes, one nice, neat folder open that folder and there we go we've got into the mist death house barovia and into the valley each bought in by its own pack so what i mean is you know if you when you finish with the death house if you want to go right click and delete that you can get rid of it it's you're not removing it from the pack so you'll still have it to import again if you want to but it might just help you keep your your system relatively um, functional by not removing everything so uh, we've got all of the Barovia no it won't bring in the um, because like the town square it won't bring in the thumbnails <laughs> it just won't do it so um, so tough I mean you know that's only for you as the DM anyway so get over it <laughs> but we do now have into the valley um, so we've got our Barovian um, scout map here uh, we've got the uh, the crossroads I mentioned with our lightning effects, our little hanged ghost that appears, uh, etc. That's all ready to go and working as far as I can tell. Um, we've got the, the ruined watchtower over here that's all ready to go. And I've tried to follow the Dragna Carta version, Strahd Reloaded, as close as I can. So we do have some scenes that don't appear in the normal one. So the ravine is um, a, a an added one. Uh, what else is an added one? Um, oh, we've got a couple of just visual scenes um, at Lake Zarovich. So uh, there's a bit where they might go down to the shore and there's a little bit of a conversation story part. So if they do, bam, you can switch to this scene. And I've tried to number these scenes like C10 correlates directly with Dragna Carta's module C10 so it should be really easy for you to navigate around obviously you need to read the module before you run it but I've tried to match that up as much as I can um, yeah just to make your life easier so hopefully all of this um, is working you can hear sounds in the background you should be able to hear the waterfall here move off of one that's, so it's not quite so noisy all the battles are kind of ready to go so you just need to put your player characters on the relevant part um, for those 
actor wise same so we've just got a folder with the actors in if we go into into the valley we've got all of our monsters here including our hags we've got when they meet Strahd so he's there they shouldn't be fighting Strahd if they do they will get their butts kicked but he's there ready to go if you need it um there's a number of bits there that they shouldn't be messing with. Uh, we've got our NPCs, of course. They're all in there. We go to our items again. They're by chapter. So if you don't, you know, when you finish with the Death House and you decide to get rid of the scenes, you can also get rid of the actors. You can also get rid of the items to clean things up nicely. There's generally not that many items in each of these. Uh, journals is pretty much just a party journal anyway. Uh, and in the sounds so when you install each of these it will say oh i'm bringing in new soundtracks um actually it's bringing in the same soundtracks like the backgrounds the waterfall and the windy woods every time every chapter that needs it it's bringing that in but it's just overwriting it so you're not losing anything you're keeping exactly the same uh the, the exactly the same um, version of that um if you have any trouble with those and those sounds not working please let me know um that's one area i think i've done right and i might not have done so that's it really. So we're up to Arc C um, and if we actually look at the Dragna Carta module, if I drag that over here, that is the whole of Act 1 into the mists. Let's make that bigger. Boom. Okay, so on the left hand side here, into the mists, we've got escape, the summary, escape from the death house, welcome to Barovia and into the valley. That's Act 1 done. So as you probably aware, I've been building Valaki and doing these things. St. Andrew's Feast, the missing Vastani, uh, the Lady Watchers Wish, um, etc. So we're up to about here, but I've got to redo them to make sure they work in a way that I can package them for you. So we're kind of about halfway through Act 2, so hopefully it won't be too far off. Um, St. Andrew's Feast, I will do another update once that's ready to go then I'll do another update once Arc E is ready to go another update when Arc F is so try and do them like that I'm not going to do a video for every single release because that's going to get silly um, plus there's other videos that we need to do uh, that are a more interest to a wider audience um, so this will be one of the rare ones that I do of these now moving forward. Um, when the entire of Act 2 is done, I'll probably do a video. And then we're into Act 3, where there's an awful lot of stuff going on. But we are getting there, and it is functional and it is usable. So I would really appreciate it if you do encounter any little issues or bugs or problems. Do drop them in the comments just so that I know about it and I can fix it. Um, but also, if you're actually using it, I know a few people have been quite enthusiastic about it. Have you actually started playing it yet? <laughs> Let me know. There's a lot of work has gone into doing this. Um, so it's nice just to, uh, to hear that people are actually using it. I mean, my players are, so uh, it's not wasted. But um, yeah, it'd be really nice to know what you guys are, are thinking and how it's running for you. Do your players like it the way that I've approached it? Anyway, thank you for watching. I do appreciate all of you very much, um, especially my members who keep me going and encouraging me and everything else. It very much is appreciated. And uh, once again, that lonely bugbear, thank you so much for all your help with the packaging stuff. Um, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're improving. We are learning. We are getting better. We're getting faster. We're getting stronger. Bit like the, uh, the million dollar man. <laughs> Take care, everybody. See you in the next one.